Hey, Chance Nash family, it's me, Amara Jones, with our weekly talk back. Before we get into all of the things that you all are talking about, we wanted to be sure to just share our appreciation for the comments and the love that you are sharing about the anti trans hate machine. our limited series podcast, looking into the people, the money, the institutions behind the anti-trans backlash that we're all currently experiencing. So be sure to check that out and to continue to share your love and your comments for that series. Now, there's so many things that we are particularly interested in at Translash, so that's why we pay particular attention this week, and so did you all, to a new GLAD report. There's a dearth of representation of trans characters in film. In fact, no major roles were portrayed by trans people in film this year. But speaking of portrayal, if we go very, 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 very far east, 12 time zones from the United States, in China, there is a star by the name of Jin Xing, who is an openly trans woman who is called the Oprah of China. In the Times, they detail her role as a cultural icon in China. And another thing which caught our eye, which always sparks so much conversation, is the role of fertility for trans people. And our ability to be able to reproduce and be ourselves. So make sure that you check that out. I also wanted to share with you that I will be going on vacation, yay, with my vacation nails. Um, thank you, she's polished. And so for the next couple of weeks, you may not see me in our talkbacks, but we will of course be sharing our newsletter and you may be hearing my voice, um, but we'll continue to keep you up to date on everything that's happening in our community and beyond our community with trans people. That's our talkback this week. Stay tuned for next week.